Good morning, friends. So it is time for my weekly spread. I'm going to show you my monthly spread first because I did not have it done last week when I did my planner spread. So this is an overall look at my October spread. I think it is beautiful. It is a kit from um, Vandenberg Designs. And I chose something with the pink and orange as opposed to the kind of darker fall colors I've been doing because I wanted to get the pink in. Um, October is uh, Breast Cancer Survivor Month and my mom is a breast cancer survivor. So I wanted to kind of do an ode to her. So I have two different washi tapes up here. This one, and then one in the middle, and then this one again on the bottom. And I have those for all the days that are not October. This kit came with um, the little date covers and the most beautiful leaf and um, plaid. Just really beautiful overall kit. I'm really happy with it. Um, I put an arrow up here with a little love jar and this um, sidebar box came with the kit and I added in every day is special and because when you stop and look around life is pretty amazing um, having watched my mom fight through breast cancer those two statements are very, very true to me, and I cherish every day that I have with my mom. So, um, we are actually doing a breast cancer walk this month, so I will be doing that. Um, I am having a Lulu LulaRoo Facebook show for any of you who would like to join us. Let me know in the comments. Um, and that's kind of an overall, I'm just barely getting to the point where I actually use my monthly spread. Um, so, that is that for now. Um, let's see. This was last week. And I did really well with this new setup. I really like having the design in the middle and the bottom to track my food and this up here to keep for any school and appointment area which is awesome um, I did have to track my activity up here because I didn't I don't normally work out on Sundays so I always do a to-do list here but I needed to get another activity, 30 minute of activity in for my challenge last week. So I stuck that little box there. I did one on Friday. So I did get my two 30 minute activities in. I had a very up and down week with points, which is perfect. I've kind of stopped doing the whole modified Wendy plan, which I don't know if I'll get back into um, or not. I just try to eat when hungry and stop when full and have at least a little bit of a wide range, which I did. So I hit my steps every day. Two days this week I went way above. I had a 15,000 step day. Oh, I had two 15,000 step days, and yesterday I actually pushed myself to get 18,000 so that I could hit my fit point goal, which I did for the first time in months, so I was super proud of myself. So here is this week. This week I used um, the square, the cut-up squares that Molly sent me from Weight Watchers Wifey. Um... So I did two here for the weekend with a weekend banner I got on a freebie kit, I think from the Heartfelt Life. That's where the weekend banner came from. And then these squares are all squares that Molly sent me um, that she had pre-cut. So I think they're beautiful and very fall-like. And I kind of used, it's hard to see, but this one has a blue kind of this 
dark periwinkly blue purple color in the background which is also in these leaves so I thought it was really appropriate to use I have a sticker up here that says I'm not what is, has happened to me I am what I choose to become so sticking with the positive reinforcement I'm really trying to push that every day positive 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 in my life I don't need the negative I don't want the negative I just want the positive things so a list of videos for this week a beautiful I think Molly sent me these two a beautiful polka dotted orange and brown pumpkin I have a little round sticker for my weigh-in for Monday and then um, again what I will do is just place a sticker and a label in here um, for any activities if it's on a day that I can't really write on it um, and then I have I have my school headers up here for Grayson and down here I have some more of the to eat all across here and then on the bottom I have these amazing stickers from Jesse at Jay Wackers which I'm going to order some more this week I think I have I'm not even sure I have enough to do next week so I might have to make an order early this week to get some more of these and I need some more headers um, she specially makes these to eat stickers for me so I'm gonna have to order some of those too so I have those all around I have some deco with some 3d acorns and leaves a little shopping cart and coffee cup and a little box for muffin Monday chat which these little muffin stickers came from Jesse also I'm super excited they're so cute so that is a look at this week um, I'm really liking the new setup I think it is easier to use easier to track on um, so I will take you this week I decided just to do a list of things that I could eat um, instead of doing an actual meal plan I'm struggling a bit with my dietary needs and my body so it's going to kind of just be a day-to-day -day thing what my body can handle and what it can't so I want to make the edamame burgers that I've made before um, I did a cook with me on them I will try and remember to link that down below because it is an awesome recipe and one of my local friends here who follows Weight Watchers just made them yesterday and she reminded me because they're one of those recipes that I always forget until somebody says that they made them <laughs> so I'm gonna make those I found a mushroom lentil meatloaf that I would like to try this week I'm hoping that it will be yummy enough that my husband and my kids will eat it so I don't have to make two meatloafs um, I have found a copycat vegan Panera butternut squash soup so I'm going to try to make a butternut squ um, a squash soup I don't know if I'm going to use butternut I actually have two or three squash that need to be used up so I'll probably do that I am going to incorporate some fish and I'm probably going to incorporate some eggs I think I'm just going to stick with no uh, meat this week and see how that goes so I am gonna have salmon one night with my husband and then I did take the ginger sesame noodles and bok choy which were over here from last week I did not make them so I'm gonna make them this week um, because I have bok choy in my fridge that I bought for last week and I didn't eat it so so that's kind of that I have um, a shopping list here so far I'm gonna go do a little bit of shopping this morning to get me through the next couple of days we are pretty out of fresh fruit so I need to go do that so I'm gonna pick up um, a few things from here that'll get us through until Wednesday and then Wednesday I will do my big shop um, so yeah that is it this week at a glance I have to put this back in
Sorry guys, it is early. It's about 5.45 in the morning and I'm not quite awake yet. But I wanted to get this video up because I'm not going to be home much today. So we're going to put our October goals back in. Um, I'll give you another glance at those if you've forgotten since last week. Following my heart, I'm learning that I don't need labels. I don't need um, a title on what my lifestyle or my diet is. I just need to eat to satisfy my body and to maintain and to keep my body healthy. So things that don't make me feel good, I'm not going to eat. And things that don't bother my body body I'm going to eat so there may be some meat there may be some eggs there may be some fish um, there may even be a little dairy in there who knows I'm not gonna push the dairy because I do know that that makes my stomach upset but I'm not gonna say that I'm never gonna have it again so track 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 now that track step into tracking is done this is going to be key I really got back into it with the step into tracking so I want to keep going <laughs> My ultimate goal is 30 minutes of activity three times a week. Um, I definitely got through 30 minutes three times last week. We um, went away on Saturday and we spent a good two hours walking around. I definitely got all my activity in, but I did not track it as structured activity for our challenge. So, spend one hour a week doing something just for me. I am thinking that this week that will probably just be a hot bath. Um, I spent some time yesterday, which wasn't last week, um, just painting my nails. These are my natural nails. Um, trying to give them a little bit of a rest. I have one that broke, so it kind of makes me angry because they don't look even. But I'm just trying to give them a day or two to rest. Um, I took my nails off yesterday and I have not had them off in a while so I cut them and filed them and cleaned them up and just giving them a break but that was of course last week so this week maybe I will do my toes maybe I will take a hot bath one night um, but that's gonna be my one hour this week good healthy food equals good healthy body and mind and use good friends and family as a support um, and be gentle with yourself that is a huge message for us all we need to stop being so hard on ourselves and give ourselves the same inspiration and drive that we would give to anyone else it's easy for us to say oh you gained a little bit this week it's okay it'll be off next week but if we were to gain we would be hard on ourselves and disappointed with ourselves and we need to remember that this is a journey it's not going to happen overnight um that that being said, that is not a hint into this week. I did not gain this week. Um, I did lose, so you will have to stay tuned for Wait Is Enough Wednesday for that number. I have not written it in just because of that. So stay tuned for that. Um, please go and check out everybody's last Step Into Tracking updates. Everybody did fantastic, and everybody's videos should have gone up yesterday, which is Sunday. Um, so go check them out. Give them some praise for completing this challenge. It was not easy, but it was a lot of fun. And I am grateful to have been a part of it. And I'm going to miss it. So I'll see you guys next week for another Planner Spread video. Bye, guys.